What's something that's considered normal that creeps you out immediately? Diversity classes where you are forced to play act being a racist and your co-workers have to figure out what is wrong. Celebrity worship, specifically paying celebrities for pictures and autographs. You're paying someone money to pretend to like you for 10 seconds. Family channels. Imagine having to live your entire life on camera, with little to no privacy without being able to consent for it. Also to my knowledge there are no current laws that protect child influencers and come like child actors have. If your content can't exist without your child, it's their job not yours. Advertising. Especially target advertising. The constant attempt to manipulate you psychologically to make you believe you need something that's only a want. Creepy AF. Every company creating an ecosystem requiring my home address and credit card and my birthday just to listen to some music or use some software. Not a shred of my identity is unsold at this point. Instagram accounts with nothing but selfies. Hundreds and hundreds of selfies. It totally creeps me out. People standing next to or behind you when they can just wait or give you a bit more space. I hate going to airports or any other public line and trying to leave space in front of me and the person behind me just shuffles closer trying to get me to move. Trust me, you pushing me to move forwards isn't going to make the line move any faster. It just makes it more congested and it's weird emo. Caregivers putting their Alzheimer's patients on social media so people will praise you him for being patient. It's just not respectful to the person with Alzheimer's. You are stripping them of whatever dignity they have left. It's becoming more of a trend and it's so disturbing. When people document video record or take a photo or write an article themselves or other people when helping the impoverished, especially those videos of influencers on YouTube vlogging and helping the homeless, showing their faces and stuff. BS and creepy for me. If you help, just help. No need to let others know. I think it's weird that most couches don't come with washable cushion covers. Everyone finds that normal. But they would think it's weird if someone just slept on a bare mattress without ever putting a sheet on it. When in reality it's exactly the same thing. I bought a couch with cushion covers you can take off and put in the washing machine for that reason. When you're chilling with your cat or dog at night with no one else home and they suddenly alert and look super alarmed like they heard something. Forcing your kids to hug people. If they don't want to hug someone goodbye even if there's no reason teach them that you're going to have their back. Employers rewarding us with 8 hour staff retreat at work where we are expected to share personal info with each other all day. Staff bonding. There's a sales technique called mirroring where the salesperson mimics the body language of the customer to gain rapport. I think a lot of people also do it subconsciously to some extent. Anyway this really creeps me out. The various poses from Instagram models. It's so cringy it actually creeps me out. Especially when their eyes are slightly squinted and their mouth is half open like it's some sort of seductive sexy thing but it's just way off. Dark water. The ocean of river lake even a swimming pool if I can't see through the water, it's terrifying. At a dumb and can't see through and not can see through it I was getting a bit panicky thinking about the dark water as I wrote this. I've had male teachers and staff call me good girl after doing a task for them. Apparently this is a way some men say thank you to girls. And it's fucking weird and creepy every time. A simple thanks would suffice. Asking a couple when they plan on getting pregnant, or a couple's unsolicited sharing they are trying to get pregnant. I feel gross every time. The whole we're all family here at the workplace. It's like some weird brainwashing to get you to enjoy your job more than you should. Like, no, you're not my family. I'm here to do work and get paid. And that's the only reason I'm here. I don't even know how or why this started but anytime my phone rings I get the worst feeling of dread even before I've looked at the number even worse when I've put it on vibrate only and it goes off. Popsicle 6. That fucking texture on my tongue. Fucking HHH. This weird ass anti-fetish shakes me to my fucking core. Forcing children to kiss and hug be kissed and hugged by adult relatives or friends of the parents. Even when said child clearly find this uncomfortable or repellent. And also then being scolded for being rude if they protest. The autonomy to consent to physical contact on one's own terms isn't something that should be withheld until the age of legal majority. When you bite into food and there's an uneven texture. If I feel a weird chewy nugget or a weird crunch I'm creeped out. I cannot for the life of my eat the fat of meat or the cartilage or joint area that connects the bones. I can't. Doesn't even taste the same. It's gross to me. Telling young girls to cover up when male family members are visiting. That has never say right with me. Edit my first reward thank you random bestie, sparkling heart. Yelling or scream at people doing low paying jobs. Like Brad Jake is not in charge of pricing so why are you giving him shit? 
If you yell at someone doing their job, imagine what they do when you make them mad or something. Very straight, very white teeth. Decent teeth are fine, buck teeth are fine, crooked teeth are fine. But when it looks like you're sporting a brand new toilet bowl rim in your mouth, it creeps me out. My dad used to walk with his fingers around the back of my neck when we were in public. He could never understand why I squirmed away from that and batted his hand away. It just felt like a power thing, it made me feel small and vulnerable. I see it occasionally in public with guys and their girlfriends and dads with their kids and I always get goosebumps from remembering what that feels like. Whispery ASMR. I can't fucking stand it, it makes me gag and makes my skin crawl. Complete sensory hell. When people talk with food in their mouth, just chew and chalk after, you can barely understand them. Telling little kids that they'll go to hell if they sin. Can we not put that sort of trauma into their heads yet? Adults assigning sexuality to children and even babies. Look how Lil Billy loves breastfeeding, he's already a boob man just like his old man or her. Just coding kindergarteners. Who looks at a 5 year old in a tank top and thinks sexual thoughts to the point that 5 year old has to change. Fucking gross. How employers get all excited and amped up about how you're about to come to work and earn them like 10x more money than you'll ever make working for them and expect you to be just as amped. Overly firm handshakes from older males, then the weird shoulder squeeze shit they do. I don't know you don't touch me like that. As for the handshake, what are you trying to assert? Telling little kids like 210, ah is that your little girlfriend boyfriend? Like a hard stop, no. Creepy and disgusting. No matter the context. Live photos on iPhones. I'm looking at someone's photos on their iPhone and these things move for a split second and it creeps me out. I know I'm a fuddy duddy but I really like photos to not move.